की गाने Johnson McDermott on the other side opening for the shot a great goal by Terry McDermott Johnson Neil is taking it well McDermott highway for Liverpool Keegan wants to get through Beckler now Keegan Neil is up on the far post, calling for a cross. McDermott. Oh, that was beautiful! And Terry McDermott has chipped the goalkeeper. And Lawson could do nothing about it. Only ten minutes gone in the semi-final. And Liverpool are in front. The move built up slowly and deliberately. It was pushed back inside from Keegan. McDermott looked up. He saw Lawson off his line. Left foot chip. 1-0. Beautiful build-up. Good look at this. McDermott finding a lovely position. And really justifying all the faith that's been put in him. He sees things early. He takes such good positions in the box. Highway Hufan. Just look at him running there above the two German players. He's in space. The German defender's got to come across, leaving Keegan, and McDermott tucks it away superbly into the corner. Lovely jump, and a fine goal. Highway off the park. A free kick taken by Kennedy. Away by Whitworth. And another one! Well, Terry McDermott it is this time, who blasted it in through that wall of players, bounced and beat Mark Wallington as it went through. So Liverpool with only ten men, and Terry McDermott make it four goals to nil. And again, McDermott has got into a good position, and this time makes it tell. McDermott will have another try. McDermott to Case. Highway with McDermott making a run down the right, taking at least one, maybe two defenders with him. And that leaves the left. Dalglish. Hughes. Case. Kennedy. Dalglish. Highway. 
nicely round. Still highway. McDermott, it's got in. That settles it. McDermott has scored. And poor Bento finishes up in the net with the ball and reflects on an unhappy night for him. The Liverpool crowd delighted. Highway skinned it on the right. But there were players waiting just for the chance like this. McDermott hits it. And the goalkeeper, I'm afraid, even though he was partly unsighted, should perhaps have kept that out. Neil. Lost again towards Kennedy. And now it's with Robson. Oh, what a bad pass there. Cut out by Evelyn Hughes. And Case let it go through. McDermott. That's a goal for Liverpool. Well, that's a shattering blow then for West Ham. And it all began when Brian Robson's pass didn't reach his man. And Liverpool pounced on it. And the ball eventually came through to McDermott. All the goals away, Matt. 1-0. I'll always remember that McDermott run at uh, Anfield against Tottenham Hotspur where he started in his own six-yard box, defended from a corner kick, and ended up heading the ball in on the six-yard line at the other end of the field. Now, that was unique. Johnson. And Johnson, the ball into acres of empty space for Highway. And Highway, a brilliant crossback. And what a classic goal. Tottenham in remnants. Glorious long passes. Johnson finding highway. Highway with lots of space. A great quick cross back. And the flying dive by McDermott to make it 7-0. Just look at the power and the running of Terry McDermott. When we pick up the slow motion, in fact, he's just outside the penalty area. There he is crossing the centre line now. We timed him from one length of the field almost to the other in exactly 11 seconds to score that goal there, and that's after 76 minutes of play. goal in Liverpool's 3-0 victory was saved from the cop end. A cut back from the goal line by Dalglish that seemed impossible and McDermott's finishing immaculate. Well it's an absorbing match because Arsenal have now come back into things in the last five minutes or so but here come Liverpool with McDermott. Say. That's a terrific goal. Pat Jennings could do nothing about it. And McDermott scores. Tremendous virtuosity. He's been making those runs throughout the first half. He was prepared to strike that from way out. Low in the corner, past Jennings. And Terry McDermott gives Liverpool the lead in the Charity Shield. A lead they deserve for the way they play, without any doubt at all. Look how pleased he is with the finish. And the fans too, of course. But funnily enough, the goal coming just when Arsenal seem to be edging their way back into the match. 
suppose one should make the point that uh, two goal leads at Wembley are by no means impregnable after what happened in the cup final. But Arsenal, let it be said, are going to have to produce something quite out of the ordinary now. They're going to get this match back out of Liverpool's grasp because Liverpool are doing everything right. Johnson. Dalglish. Oh, it's come to McDermott. It's three. This is absolutely magnificent stuff from Liverpool. You could say it started with an error by Liam Brady, the way the move built up. But Liverpool punished it in the only way they know how. Finally, when the ball came to McDermott, he put it underneath Pat Jennings' body. But again, the build-up was devastating and the finish absolutely precise. McDermott, that's very nice. Oh, and what a delightful goal by a man having a quite delightful season, Terry McDermott. Soonis. Ray Kennedy. Nobody guarding him over there, and they're all now streaming into the middle. Johnson and McDermott. And McDermott gets it. Came out of nothing and put away with clinical simplicity. bewildered and well he might be they gave Bray Kennedy so much space and look at those three red shirts steaming in either of these two could have had the goal and it was McDermott who claimed it McDermott scored on match of the day against Nottingham Forest in December of last year and that was the last time a penalty has been scored by Liverpool and the last time one was awarded in a league match He puts that away so beautifully. Finally taken in the 54th minute. And the goalkeeper's weight was to his left. And McDermott tucked it low and right into the corner at the bottom of the stanchion. So with half an hour of the game to go, a chance for Liverpool to draw level through Terry McDermott. Wells who has played so well, now faces his biggest test of the game. The cop behind him, also behind him the confidence of some very fine saves indeed in this game. But against him, Terry McDermott. <laughs> Terry McDermott, full of confidence from the spot, drove it hard, sent the keeper the wrong way. And McDermott gets the chance to test Shilton from the spot. No hope, sent the wrong way, and so McDermott makes it 2-0 for Liverpool. Phil Neal. Europe. Ardiles. Oh dear, McDermott. defending and when it came to McDermott he let one fly and fly it did West Ham bench there John Lyle clearly obviously realizing the problems that Dalgleish could cause them and he's told Billy Bonds don't you let him turn anywhere near our box and at the moment Bonds is denying that brilliant Scottish international that Kennedy with a shot oh and a goal by McDermott the ball was dropped by Parks and Terry McDermott scores for Liverpool with 17 minutes gone, Phil Parks 
I suppose he'll blame himself, but McDermott snapping up the opportunity that was offered there for him, and Liverpool have something to cheer, and he hasn't. Well, the shot came in very quickly, it was... Ray Kennedy just knocking it in there, and it was Alan Kennedy's shot that Parks couldn't quite hold, and just look what a gift it was for McDermott. It's going to come to McDermott to shoot. Clean as a whistle. Well, in the end, Liverpool got all the advantage they wanted. A free kick given to the goalkeeper coming out of his area and handling the ball. The free kick pushed aside to Terry McDermott. And that firm shot makes it 2-0. But a penalty for Terry McDermott to take. Scored from the spot for England at Wembley on Wednesday. Scores from the spot here. Gordon knew which way it was going, but could do nothing about it. McDermott's trusty right foot. Gordon actually got hands to it, but still couldn't keep it out. The new decade, the 80s, brought a new resolve. Terry McDermott's flying header there in Finland launched a European Cup campaign that would again end in glory. The cannon fodder finished Minnow's Ulu Palasura on the wrong end of a 10-1 hiding. Graham Souness and Terry McDermott vied for the match ball with a hat-trick apiece. Cooper has saved it, eight out of the last 11 penalty kicks he's faced. Will he make it nine out of 12, or will McDermott score? It's a fascinating personal battle, this one. Never mind its significance in the match. Oh, he went the right way, but it's still gone in. McDermott equalises for Liverpool with his 11th goal of the season for them. Dalglish. Oh, nicely played by Johnson to Terry McDermott. And a little chip from McDermott, and what a lovely goal. And so typical of the player, Terry McDermott produces a special. And it was an incisive move by Liverpool. Kenny Dalglish began it with the ball inside. Johnson, a lovely first-time pass. And look at the delicate chip by Terry McDermott. Good play by Johnson, and by Ray Kennedy. McDermott's made the run forward of Dalglish. This is a lovely move, and it gets the proper finish from Terry McDermott. Really not a fine move by Liverpool. McDermott, as is so often the case, must have run a good 35 or 40 yards, and it was all fed through properly. With really good play by Kennedy and Johnson. The ball to Dalglish, the flick on to the running McDermott's, and the ball tucked inside Chris Turner's right-hand post. Well, of course, the main priority for Altrincham today is to prevent Liverpool from scoring. That is their main priority. And what scenes there would be, of course, if Altrincham were to win today. Replay, of course, if it is a draw today, would be it would be it uh, a nice, a beautiful through ball there today, and the goal, an opening goal there from Liverpool, a tremendously worked goal there from McDermott. Now Phil Neal striking back for Liverpool. Kennedy finding Dalglish, a little flick. Oh, what a lovely goal by McDermott! That really was a great goal. Just as casual as you like. And Perry Digley could really do nothing about that. Alan Kennedy. Perfection off a defender. And Owen in. And then McDermott. Sixteen minutes of the second half gone. Terry McDermott scores. And it's 2-0 to Liverpool. But Colin Irwin certainly deserves a credit there for an assist. Alan Kennedy.
Kennedy lets go, the deflection takes it to Irwin. Wells makes a good save, but McDermott is following up. Lee. Ray Kennedy has McDermott. Yes! And they're not happy with the goalkeeper. McDermott is happy enough. Divine Teller, McDermott! And that's the bit of luck that you need. Terry McDermott scores with a mishit shot. With a minute remaining of the first half. There seemed to be no way through as Sammy Lee pumped it in again. McDermott had a swing, went through a crowd of players past Jennings. Dalgleish setting up Terry McDermott. A superb swerving shot from 20 yards, 7-0 to Liverpool. McDermott, the man to take it. Well, Dye Davis almost got there. But Liverpool instead get one back. That's the scorer, Terry McDermott. Can McDermott make it too? Plenty of encouragement from the cop. His first one wasn't hit all that well. He does. Two, two it is. And what's happening there? Well, I can't imagine. They all seem to be having a go at Di Davis. Soonest. Kennedy in lots of space, and that's where he loves to be down that left-hand touch line. He puts it in right foot. McDermott's got time. Oh, and it took a wicked deflection, I think, off Gatting, but it's in the back of the net, and it's 3-1. Well, Terry McDermott had lots of time and room. You can see the annoyance there on Terry Digweed's face. A little unlucky there in the way that it actually went into the net. Terry McDermott there, really making Brighton pay. Chance now to see the goal again. Ray Kennedy it was, right foot. Catching Brighton out, finding McDermott in lots of space. He hits the shot, just came off Gatting, but the goal will go to McDermott, and that's 3-1. Terry McDermott. He blasts it past him. No nonsense about this technique. of the ball, and now it's Rush away on the left. Donald Leash just behind him, wants it and gets it. McDermott through the middle, here's McDermott. Oh, superbly finished off by Terry McDermott. He's been looking for that all through the game, and finally it's come off for Liverpool. Fine break there by Liverpool. Donald Leash was involved, and when the ball came across, McDermott had steamed up on the blind side and took the opportunity with both hands, firmly planting it past it all. The delay won't help McDermott. But again, the blast is effective, as it was in the last home game here against Manchester United. And the pressure finally pays off. Dalglish who was brought down, congratulating the scorer, McDermott. On the linesman's flag, we've got a free kick for a foul down on this left-hand side. Quickly taken by Wheeler to Sunis. Look for McDermott to hit it. Oh, look for Dalglish. And now McDermott. And 2 nothing it is, Liverpool. Well, they must have had three bites at that cherry before. Racking up their second goal, and the travelling Anfield Cop fans are well pleased. That's the first chance for Dermot. There's the second one for Dog Leash.
The ball comes back off Rimmer to McDermott, and he buries it second time. Collins did well, but there's too many yellow shirts around there for him. And soon as strokes a delightful pass out to Lee. McDermott making a run down here, and he's onside too. And the little chip's all it needed, and McDermott delivers it. Oh, yes, he enjoyed that one. That was the mark of the master craftsman. Terry McDermott, 3-0, 72 minutes of the game gone. And that really was class from Terry McDermott. The distance he ran and the killer punch that he delivers. Look at that, so beautiful. Rimmer stranded. And that surely will kill Villarov. Whelan. Led off by Dalglish. Sunes looking for McDermott, who stayed onside this time and tucks it away. The referee had a look at the linesman, Terry McDermott, who has his own special way of celebrating goals. Sunes looking up. How about that for a telling pass? Dermott had lost McCall on that occasion, and Liverpool lead after a quarter of an hour. Terry McDermott scored against Jim Blythe from the spot earlier this season, and does so again. Not the cleanest penalty he's ever struck. It goes under the goalkeeper. Are you really got your game together, Tom? Well, that's it, lads. Well, that's good, fabulous. That's if we play like that, especially the first 20, uh, 45 minutes, if we keep playing like that, there's a model beat us. That's nice.